The book of Proverbs is the book of guidance and instruction. One proverb says, do not remove the ancient landmark that your ancestors set up. Landmarks can serve a variety of functions. The one in this proverb probably was a property marker, a boundary, or a sign of ownership. Landmarks can also be commemorative, like the Ebenezer stone that the prophet Samuel set up to remember God's help. They also can be indicators of location and are useful especially to travelers. We've lost a lot of landmarks of the windstorm here of now nearly a month ago. As I drive through the countryside, I am aware of three or four or perhaps even five old barns that are no longer there. Buildings that sometimes were maintained even though they were no longer functional, sometimes were left just to weather, but in some cases have been there for a hundred years or longer, and I miss them now that they're gone. Around the city, we've lost a lot of trees, and intersections, for instance, look different. I sometimes have to think twice about whether this is where I turn or not, because the old indicators are gone. In another way, we've lost the landmarks of time and the COVID-19 disruption of our routine. The passage of the weeks marked by coming to church are not quite as clear as they used to be. Behind me are two sort of landmarks, familiar signs here at First Lutheran Church, the one not as familiar in its form here because it's new with the remodeling, but the cross, which is an ancient symbol of our faith. And then there's the beautiful stained glass window showing the risen Jesus. Both of these remind us of the things that landmarks do, ownership, we belong to God, commemoration, God's saving acts, and guidance and security. The book of Hebrews says that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And though everything else might change, Jesus is always there, our strength, our rock, our friend, our savior. That never changes. This is Light for the Day. I'm Pastor Mark Erlach.